Slinging is a skilled job and mistakes can be fatal. Safety depends on the use of slings properly designed for the purpose. It depends on the reliability of the sling and it depends on you, on the skill and knowledge of the user. The design and quality of Cuplex slings helps you to work more easily and more efficiently. We at Parsons Chain devote all our skills and resources to ensure quality in chain slings. In each case, our reputation as market leader for more than 30 years is based on exacting standards of research and design. Our quality is recognized worldwide, but we depend on your help to ensure the highest standards of safety in use. Cuplex is a chain sling system designed for use in demanding conditions and is made from high strength steel so that the slings are lighter in weight and easier to handle. It's very tough and has a high resistance to wear and fatigue. The unique method of assembly can be accomplished in a matter of minutes. The chain is high strength grade T, manufactured and tested to recognized national and international standards and all the associated cuplex components are compatible in strength with the chains with which they are used. Cuplex master links have generous internal dimensions to fit a wide range of crane hook sizes. The reavable egg link can be used as an alternative master link or to reave a single leg sling into choke hitch. The vast choice of cuplex hooks reflects the variety of needs in industry. The ever popular sling hook with or without a safety latch. Sea hook, designed to prevent the fouling of the hook. The wide bowl hook with a generous admittance. The foundry hook to accept molding box trunnions. And a safety hook in three versions. Clevis, eye and swivel. The safety latch cannot open under load and even when the load is released, the trigger must be depressed to open the latch. A series of special purpose hooks is used in pairs. Choke hooks and links for repetitive lifting in choke hitch. Pipe hooks. Case grabs. Bail hooks. And drum hooks. And finally, one of the most important features, the cuplex shortening clutch. Where a load is irregular in terms of shape or in distribution of weight, or perhaps you are short of headroom, the cuplex shortening clutch provides a safe means of leg length adjustment. Simply by inserting a link of the chain into the clutch at a point in the chain leg will provide the right length of adjustment with no loss of strength. They greatly increase the versatility of cuplex chain slings. That's the cuplex range. It comes in eight sizes giving working loads from 1.5 tonnes to over 100 tonnes. Let us tell you briefly about the contribution which we make to ensure quality and safety. All the steel for Cuplex and our other chain products is bought in cast quantities so that we can specify the composition in precise terms and to fine tolerances. A sample from each coil of steel is subjected to spectroscopic analysis to check the steelmaker's cast analysis. Throughout the processes of forming, welding and heat treatment, each control batch is carefully monitored and at the end of the line we check it all again. After proof testing, sample lengths are subjected to destruction tests and the breaking forces and elongation are graphically recorded. Having inspected visually, we then pass all the chain through a device finely tuned to detect any remaining flaws or blemishes. Our manufacturing facility and main product lines are approved by quality assurance authorities worldwide. Our laboratory, together with a well-equipped inspection department, forms the centerpiece of all our quality assurance activities and is Natlas accredited by NAMAS so you can be fully assured of the integrity of our manufacturing and quality control procedures, all directed to providing purpose-designed products in which you can have complete confidence. Now we come to your contribution. The key features to consider in buying chain slings are type, 
size in terms of safe working load, and reach or length. The type of sling will depend upon the nature of the loads to be lifted. Common types are single leg, two leg, three leg, and four leg, and a number of special purpose slings which we will show you in use later on. Make sure that the master link will fit on your crane hook. Choose the sling hooks ideally suited to your particular needs. Ensure that all your requirements are met in terms of safe working loads. Otherwise you will find that the slings are used for loads beyond their lifting capacity. Measure the required reach or length between the inner bearing points of the top and bottom terminal components, like this. Take account of available headroom, but otherwise be a little generous in length. Don't forget the shortening clutches. And remember that your distributor is always available to help you choose the right slings. The whole business of working load rating is important. First of all, two definitions. The working load limit, WLL, is the maximum mass or weight which a sling is designed to sustain in service. The safe working load, SWL, is the maximum mass or weight for which a sling should be used in particular service conditions. The safe working load should be determined by a competent person having full knowledge of any hazardous conditions or any other circumstances which might indicate a need for a safe working load lower than the working load limit. If there are no such hazards, then the safe working load may be the same as the working load limit, but never more. The safe working load is marked on the sling and must not be exceeded in any circumstances. There are some other things to be remembered about working load rating. The first is that the load on the sling leg increases as the angle of the leg from vertical increases. If we were to lift a load of 10 tons in equal balance using a two leg sling with each leg in a vertical position, the load in each leg would be 5 tons. With the sling disposed at a 30 degree included angle, the load in each leg becomes 5.2 tons. At 60 degrees included angle, 5.8 tons. At 90 degrees included angle, 7.1 tons. And finally, at 120 degrees included angle, 10 tons. In each leg. Yet the total load weighs only 10 tons. Let's demonstrate. This billet weighs just over 900 kilograms. We'll use a two-leg sling and attach it to movable lifting brackets. Each leg of the sling incorporates a sensitive load measuring device. With the legs as close as possible to the vertical position, the load in each leg is about 450 to 460 kilograms. At 30 degrees included angle, it is about 475 kilograms in each leg. At 60 degrees included angle, about 525 kilograms. At 90 degrees, about 640 kilograms. And at 120 degrees, about 905 kilograms. In each leg. A load in each leg equal to the total weight of the load. So what do we do about the safe working load rating? The best way is to adopt the uniform load method of rating. The safe working load is calculated on the basis of a 90 degree included angle. The same safe working load applies to all lesser angles and use of the sling at angles greater than 90 degrees is prohibited. If you do have a need to make lifts at angles greater than 90 degrees, then you must have an additional tag on the sling showing the reduced safe working load applying at angles from 90 degrees to 120 degrees. You may then have, for instance, a 16 mm two-leg couplex sling marked number 1234 SWL 11.3 tons naught to 90 degrees. And if you need to use the sling at angles greater than 90 degrees, another tag showing the reduced safe working load. Number 1234, SWL 8 tons, 90 to 120 degrees. 
never make a lift with the included angle greater than 120 degrees. Similar principles apply in the rating and use of three-leg and four-leg slings. In the case of three-leg slings, the greatest angle between any two legs is the reference point. For four-leg slings, refer to the greatest angle between diagonally opposed legs. Just a word of caution. We have shown that the smaller the angle, the lesser the load on the sling leg. But don't assume that this necessarily means safer lifting. The narrower the angle, the greater the danger of imbalance. So aim generally for included angles between 60 and 90 degrees. Lifting in choke hitch, like this, is a good and safe way of lifting. The sling hugs the load and keeps it secure. But hooking back creates yet another angle and the chain is being loaded transversely. So in these circumstances, the safe working load should be reduced by 20%. Let's take a look at some typical lifts in practice. Here is a simple single leg lift with the hook going into an eye bolt. No problems here. You can use a single leg sling in basket hitch, like this, or choke hitch, like this. Similarly, two leg slings can be used by attaching directly to the load or in choke or basket hitch. If you are regularly lifting with two leg slings in choke hitch, consider using a choke hook sling. Four leg slings are usually attached directly to the load. And now for some special purpose slings. In each case, the weight of the load creates a clamping force. A pipe sling, a case grab sling, and a drum sling. A few more tips. Avoid loading the tip of the hook. The load must be suspended from the bowl. Provide protection between the chain and any sharp corners of the load. Do not knot or twist a chain. When using shortening clutches, make sure that the loaded end of the chain leads out of the bottom of the clutch. Avoid shock loading at all times. Lift the load gently, just clear of the ground, and check for balance. Do not drag a sling forcibly from beneath a load. Land the load to allow free removal of the sling, using wooden battens if necessary. If you leave the sling on the crane hook after a lift, hook back to the master link. Don't leave slings on the floor, put them on a rack. Couplex slings may be used at temperatures up to 200 degrees Celsius without reducing the safe working load. From 200 to 300 degrees Celsius, reduce the working load by 10%. And at 300 to 400 degrees Celsius, by 25%. Never use couplex slings at temperatures above 400 degrees Celsius. At the other end of the scale, Couplex slings may be used at temperatures as low as minus 40 degrees Celsius. Do not use couplex slings in acid solutions of a chemical nature, nor in heavily acid-laden atmospheres. Do not heat treat, plate or coat couplex slings. At the time of supply, your distributor must provide a certificate of test and examination in an approved format. The safe working load must be marked on the sling itself or on a securely fixed metal tag. The sling must be identified in a way which will relate it to the certificate. The user must maintain a register identifying the slings in use, test certificate numbers and dates, date of last six monthly examination, defects found, remedial action and record of retest. We do everything possible to ensure your safety. So for your part, choose the right sling. Understand and apply the slinging principles we have described. Never exceed the marked safe working load. Always take account of hazardous conditions. Make sure that your couplex slings are regularly inspected and properly maintained. The skills required in slinging are often severely underestimated. So are the dangers. Nothing should be taken for granted, nothing left to chance.
somebody's life may well depend on your skill, on your care.